Contrary to popular belief, humans did not start using vaccines in 1796 when Edward Jenner, a country doctor from Berkeley, England, vaccinated the first patient. Although Jenner's contribution to humanity has popularized the use of vaccines, they have been used for hundreds of years, with the earliest evidence showing us that the Chinese were practicing smallpox inoculation as early as 1000 AD. Inoculation was also practiced in Turkey and Africa way before it spread to Europe and eventually finding its way to the Americas. So, what makes vaccination so important? Well, humans are exposed to several different viruses, bacteria, and other microbes from the moment we are born. And if it weren't for vaccines, our immune system would not be able to fight the diseases. However, not all viruses and bacteria are as harmful as they sound. Some of them can help activate and strengthen our immune system without making us sick. But before we get to what makes vaccines so special, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Vaccines are a simple yet effective protection. Our immune system is built to evolve and protect us against various infections. When our body is exposed to infection, the immune system tries to neutralize the microbes and prevent them from causing harmful effects by triggering a series of responses. This is how exposure to infections teaches our bodies to remember the microbe by building a lifelong immunity so we don't get the same disease ever again. If it weren't for the vaccines, some of the diseases would probably lead to detrimental consequences and death. Our bodies need to learn how to fight off the disease without contracting it. What happens to your body when you vaccinate? When you get vaccinated, your body is exposed to some form of a microbe. You can even be given fragments of a microbe or a weakened microbe, virus or bacteria that's designed to teach your body how to recognize that microbe. When the active substances enter your body and encounter the immune system, your body starts to produce immune cells and antibodies that will single out the real microbe. When a person who was previously vaccinated gets exposed to the same microbe, the body will react faster and better. This is what scientists refer to as artificially acquired immunity. On the other hand, when your body is infected with a microbe, virus or bacteria, it will kickstart the production of immune cells with the sole purpose of beating the virus. Once you recover from the disease, your body will remember the infection and recognize it the next time around. This is referred to as naturally acquired active immunity. What is so important about vaccines? Vaccines have a widespread implementation and over the past few centuries, they have successfully helped eradicate several diseases. Here are a few reasons why vaccines are so important. Over the last six decades, vaccines have helped eradicate smallpox and are close to eradicating polio in the entire world. Through responsible and regular vaccination, we help prevent more than 2.5 million deaths every year. Some of the newer and underutilized vaccines successfully prevented 4 million deaths by 2015 alone. Regular vaccination causes something we call herd immunity, which means the following. If a majority of people within a community have been vaccinated against a certain disease, the few who have not been vaccinated will be less likely to get sick because the rest of the community is less likely to contract and spread the disease. Between 2000 and 2008, vaccines helped reduce deaths caused by measles by 78%. During the same period, deaths in sub-Saharan Africa dropped by a shocking 92%. Rotavirus and pneumonia are two conditions that cause the death of nearly 3 million underage children, and vaccines that could stop that already exist, but aren't used to their full potential. Since the introduction of the vaccine for Haemophilus influenza in 1988, the CDC has reported a 99% reduction in bacterial meningitis. A first-generation vaccine against the most deadly malaria parasite was introduced in 2019. Contrary to popular belief, not all vaccines are administered as shots. Some of them are given orally. Some of the diseases that can be prevented by vaccines are no longer present in the United States. If it weren't for vaccines, a few cases of a disease could turn into tens or even hundreds of thousands in a matter of weeks. The reason vaccines are used is to prevent this from happening. So, what are your thoughts on vaccines? Are you for or against vaccination? Whatever the case may be, feel free to explain the logic in the comment section below. We'll show you everything worth knowing.